Hey guys, I am back with another review video. So yes, I finally got Movie Shadow. Yes, I just picked him up at Walmart not that long ago because Walmart on the app canceled the order. Why? I don't know. And there was a little something on my phone. So yeah, here he is. Pretty cool. And the tag is cool too, too. Now, yes, he's like nine inches, the same like height of the other three plushies, which are just a re-release of the ones from the last movie. So the one that was really interesting was the shadow because he's playing, he is being played by Kenayu Reeves. And yes, I am excited to tell you guys that uh, this will be for September's unboxing, which will be an early review on September's unboxing. I already filmed the other three. The other two I have not, or three I have not reviewed yet. So yeah, um, he was like $9.97 at Walmart, and he was only like a two extra dollars, like $10.94. So yeah, um, anyway, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag, the tag on in 3, 2, 1. Before we look at the plushie, I just want to look at the tag first. Now, yes, you may know this scene in the background is like a screenshot of the one from the any credit scene from Sonic 2 and the other characters from the last movie, including Sonic himself, which is a pretty cool tag. And there's the Sonic 3 logo. Now let's look at the plushie itself and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. I had to move the camera a bit because I know, oh, it looks like I was zooming in, but I wasn't. So this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so this is actually the very first September unboxing I'm filming during the month of September. Now, yes, I bought this from GameStop yesterday, and I didn't know if, oh, it was getting delivered today. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys what it is. Voila! It is the Princess Peach traveling the Princess Peach Nintendo Switch traveling case. Uh, yes. Uh, it's from the new Princess Peach game, which I have not yet played. Uh, got it from GameStop yesterday. Uh, it was only $20.00. But I had to pay nine more dollars on it. So, yeah, let me go get a pair of scissors or something to cut the little package off. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the... I got this off. And, yes, it's designed for Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo Switch OLED model. Um, to be honest, I don't have a Nintendo Switch model, old model, whatever you call it. I have a Nintendo Switch Lite. My brother has a Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and take off the other thing and see what it looks like inside in 3, 2, 1. This was a pain to get out. It took me like two minutes to take off. Now, let's look inside. Now, yes. Oh, weird. Styrofoam. Here's the little instructions, which I don't really need. That styrofoam, yay. Now, here's what the inside looks like. Um, and it comes with one little stand, like carrying case. 
So yeah, this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, I am back with another unboxing. This time, it is the Peacemaker Toy... I mean, not Toy Factory. Uh, Factory Entertainment Peacemaker, the series Peacemaker Talking Plush. Um, I don't know if it talks or not. I bought this like two days ago on Amazon. And I'm going to be really honest... I didn't even know this was even a real thing. Now, yes, I haven't done a Peacemaker-related unboxing since way back in December. <sighs> Let's get them out of the bag. Okay, so while the video was paused, I tested out. It talks! So, this is like the second um, talking plushie I reviewed. Uh, I did review the Joy Talking Plush I bought from Walmart months ago. And the helmet is fabric. Metallic fabric. Sadly, he does not have the removable helmet. But I thought, in my mind, he would, but he don't. So, yeah. um, Looks really cool. And look at this! He has the... Uh, what do you call it? Um, his little, um, I want to say Nerf toy, because that's what I'm going to call it, because, well, why not? From the movie, the Mortal Kombat 1 DLC, I mean, and yes, this is actually John Cena's voice in the box, because, you know, he plays... Peacemaker. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and then review it in three, two, one. And just for the record, before I take the tag off, I did bought this on Amazon two days ago. Okay, guys, this unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I'm glad they made a Peacemaker plush. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another unboxing, and yes, this is the final September unboxing before um we get to uh October's, and here is the plushie I was telling you guys about. It is the Total Anime Heroes. From Jazzwares, My Hero Academia Isaku Midoriya plush, which is like for something from Country Roll, but they have four of these plushies. They have Midoriya, Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen, Anya from Spy X Family, and Levi from Attack on Titan. Now, Yes, I will try to unbox UG next month, or probably some point in November, but let's go ahead and get Midoriya out of the bag. Now, these are way much different than the Great Eastern plushies, because, um, you can tell, like, when you touch the bottom, they have little beads inside. Now, yes, um, here's the tag... Total Anime, My Hero Academia, Isaku Midoriya, now streaming on Crunch, Crunchy Roll. Now, yes, I haven't done an anime unboxing since, like, the Shinobo plush from Great Eastern, like, two months ago. And, yeah, um, I got this, I had a, okay, story time, a little bit, so, I bought this on the 8th. I pre-order it on the 8th. I canceled that order. Rebuy will be delivered here in two days. But I re-canceled it on the day that the plushie released and rebought it that day to get delivered today. So yeah, um I'm glad I got this in my collection. Um I really don't like the arms, what they did to the arms of 
because he's supposed to have the green shoulders on him, but I guess that's not going to be the case. So yeah, um, again, this is the final unboxing for September, and I'll put the best of September's unboxing compilation part two out there, maybe by Monday or Tuesday in two or three days. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks looks like without the tag ag, the tag on in three, two, one. Okay, guys. I took the tag off. Now look at this. If they make series two. I want to see them make a Denji or any character from Chainsaw Man. Maybe another character from My Hero Academia. Maybe another Spy Family character or Attack on Titan. Maybe Naruto or Dragon Ball C. But yes, uh, I'm glad I got Midoriya in this form. Because to be honest, uh, I like the Jazzwares uh, anime plushies. Which ones do y'all like better? The Great Eastern My Hero plushies or the Isaku Midoriya plushie by Jazzwares? Let me know down in the comments below and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe!